let's explore services that are redefining human interaction with technology. Additionally, we'll discuss critical issues raised by psychologists regarding effectiveness and potential biases. Don't miss the story about how a mental health chatbot obtained certification from the British government as a medical device. Get ready for an exciting journey into the innovative world of chatbots. If you're intrigued, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more intriguing content about technology and society. In an AI therapy session, young individuals seeking support from artificial intelligence bots for therapy. Charcuter.ai offers around 475 bots with names related to counseling, therapist, psychotherapist, or psychologist capable of interacting in various languages. These represent just a few of the numerous artificial intelligence, AI, avatars available on Character.ai, a platform where individuals can create chatbots inspired by real or fictional figures, particularly popular among a youthful audience. Although it shares the technological foundation with ChatGPT, the platform surpasses it in terms of user engagement time. However, among the millions of characters on the platform, few are as popular as the psychologist. There are a total of 475 bots with therapy, therapist, psychiatrist, or psychologist in their names, capable of conversing in various languages. Some of these can be described as entertainment or fantasy therapy characters, such as hot therapist. But the most popular ones are those focused on mental health, like the therapist, which has received 12 million messages, or the Are You Feeling Okay, which has received 16.5 million. Psychologist is by far the most popular mental health character, with many users sharing commendations on Reddit. It's a lifesaver, one person posted. It helped me and my boyfriend communicate and understand our emotions, shared another. The user behind Blazeman98 is Sam Zaya, a 30-year-old from New Zealand. The intention was never for it to become popular, for others to seek it out, or to use it as a tool, he says. Until I started receiving many messages from people saying they had been positively impacted and were using the psychologist as a source of comfort. The psychology student says he trained the bot using principles from his education, engaging in conversations and shaping responses to address common mental health issues, such as depression and anxiety. He created the bot for personal use when his friends were busy, and he needed, in his words, someone or something to talk to, as therapy with a human was too expensive. Sam was so surprised by the bot's success that he is working on a graduate research project on the emerging trend of AI therapy and why it attracts young people. Character.ai is dominated by users aged 18 to 30. Many people who messaged me mentioned accessing it when their thoughts become challenging, like at 2 in the morning when they can't talk to a friend or a real therapist. Sam also believes that young people feel more comfortable with the text format. Speaking through text messages may be potentially less intimidating than picking up the phone or having a face-to-face -face conversation, he speculates. Teresa Pluman, a professional psychotherapist, has tried interacting with the psychologist. She says she is not surprised that this type of therapy is popular among the younger generation but questions its effectiveness. The bot has a lot to say and quickly makes assumptions, like giving advice on depression when I mention being sad. That's not how a human would respond, she commented. Teresa points out that the bot cannot gather all the information a human could and is not a competent therapist. However, she acknowledges that its immediate and spontaneous nature can be beneficial for those in need of help. She emphasizes that the number of people using the bot is concerning and may indicate high levels of mental health issues and a lack of public resources. However, Character.ai is a peculiar space to host a therapeutic revolution. We are pleased to observe that people are discovering extensive support and connection through the avatars they and the community create. However, it is imperative that users seek legitimate guidance and counseling from certified professionals in the field, communicated a company spokesperson. According to Charcuter.ai, recorded conversations are confidential, but the team can access them if necessary, such as in security-related cases. Each interaction begins with a prominent warning in red letters. Remember, everything the characters say is invented. It serves as a reminder of the underlying technology, known as Large Language Model, LLM, which does not process information in the same way as a human. LLMs operate by predicting text messages, arranging words in ways more likely to appear in other texts on which the AI has been trained. Other AI services based on LLM offer a similar companionship, such as Replica, a site classified as adult due to its sexual nature. However, According to data from the analytics company SimilarWeb, 
it is not as popular as character.ai in terms of time spent and accesses. There are also Earkick and Wobot, AI chatbots designed to act as mental health companions. Both companies claim, based on their own research, that the apps are helping people. Some psychologists warn that AI bots may be providing inappropriate advice to patients or introducing race or gender biases. But elsewhere in the medical world, there is a tentative acceptance of AI bots as tools to be used to cope with the high demand in public services. Last year, an AI service called Limbic Access became the first mental health chatbot to receive certification as a medical device from the UK government. It is now used in many points of the British Public Health Service for patient classification and screening. Thank you so much for joining us on this fascinating exploration of the AI chatbot universe. We hope you enjoyed the insights into these innovative services. If you watched until the end, your support means a lot to us. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated on future content. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with friends and family who might also be interested in this exciting world of technology. Until next time, and thank you for being part of our community.